Hi, it's Missy from Beer for the Ladies. So here I am uh, in the military. Uh, uh, some of my brew days got cut short because I got sent to Europe. So I'm in Europe now. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get some brewing done. So I ordered some ingredients. I uh, had some of my smaller equipment shipped over here uh, and I started brewing uh, today. So here in, a, in a, just a second, I'll show you what I made. I had uh, two pounds of Pills and Light dry malt extract, a half ounce of German Northern Brewer hops, and I'm making two gallons of beer from that. Um, oh, I used a Dan Star Nottingham dry ale yeast. So hopefully we'll end up with something that's about um, 12 to 15 IBUs, about four and a half percent alcohol, and uh, nice and light in color. I didn't have anything to help with uh, flocculation, like Whirlflock tablets or anything like that, but I have a strainer, so I strained it. Um, we'll see how it turns out. It should be maybe a little cloudy, but that doesn't really bother me. You know, I don't think it'll bother you either. That's what homebrew looks like. So anyway, I hope you enjoy uh, the video and thanks for watching. Cheers. So we have all of our stuff laid out. This one we're gonna use this Nottingham Ale Yeast. We've got about a half an ounce of German Northern Brewer hops. Star stands ready to go. Fermenting bucket with Mark. About two gallons of water for sanitizing. Two pounds of Pills and Light DME. And a gallon of water getting ready to boil. So let's start out over here. We can go ahead and get our sanitizer ready. We use a half ounce of star sand. Just kind of guesstimate. That's good enough. Getting that pretty good. So everything's going to go in there. We're going to have our airlock parts. Our scissors. Hydrometer, the hydrometer vial. Get in there. Some water in there. Our thermometer for when we need to check the temperature once it's getting ready to um, pitch yeast and everything. We have our uh, strainer so we can get the hops out. So. Here in a moment, water will be boiling. We'll put in our... All right, so we got boiling water. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the heat. Move it right here. Make sure you're stirring when you're pouring in this malt extract. Okay, get it in there, stir it up. It's gonna foam a little. Let it do its thing. If you don't stir it though, you'll end up with scorch on the bottom. Keep stirring it. It's going to foam up. Just let it do it. If you keep stirring it, pay attention. Don't let it overflow. It won't get all over the place. won't make you a big sticky mess. There we go. So you got to get it all in there. And then, once you get it all in there, got to get the uh, hops in. That'll be after we put it back on the heat. There we go. Some more going. There we go. Keep stirring. The dry malt extract works a little different than that liquid. Liquid's like a heavy molasses. This is a really fine powder. And it gets everywhere if you spill it. Even steam gets it sticky, see? So you get it in there, get it all nice and stirred up. It's already smelling right, We've got some clumps. Just stir it, it'll work through. Okay, because I don't have a gas stove, this is this glass electric cooktop. I'm just kind of putting it halfway on. I turn the heat down to medium high instead of high. 
That way if this foam starts to build up, I can just slide it right off there and I don't end up in that gross stickiness everywhere. Also, if you blow on the surface a little, it'll kind of move, move some of that foam out of the way. Just keep an eye on it. At this point, now that you have your malt extract in the boiling water, don't leave it alone. Once this gets boiling again, we're going to boil for 60 minutes. The hops are 60 minute hops, so that means they go at the beginning of the boil. They'll boil the whole time. I don't have anything else to add. No more hops. I don't have any flocculation aids, no world flock tablets, no Irish moss, nothing. So this is super simple. 60 minute boil with the Pilsen Light malt extract and a half ounce of hops. I'm starting to get some bubbles again here. I'm just going to keep stirring it and keep watching it. Alright, so you can see it's starting to boil under there. It took about three minutes for me to get to this point. Foam's rising up. It's not blowing down, so I'm just going to slide it off the heat. No big deal. Get it off the heat. Foam drops back down. See how quick that was? It drops right back down. Just don't panic. You got to get it boiling again, and once it gets to the hot break, see there it goes, it's boiling. Once it gets to the hot break, all this foam will dissipate. All the oxygen will be out of the wort, and you won't have to worry about it rising up on you. But as long as it's still there, you just move it off the heat. So I have it halfway. I'm going to go ahead and add these hops right now. It's going to foam up again. Don't panic. Just stir, pull it off the heat. Okay? There it goes. Foam it up, pull it off the heat, no big deal. Stir it up. Foam will drop back down. You'll see it. There. See? Dropping right back down. No big deal. And you get it right back. It's going back to boiling again. So pay attention. Don't let it come up and over. If you have the electric stove, turning off the heat um, just isn't as quick as, as with a gas stove. So I found it better just to pull it off the heat. And then it'll get right back into it. So now it's starting to boil again. I'm going to set my uh, timer to uh, 60 minutes. about 60 minutes. So, there we are, three minutes into the boil. Foam already dissipated. It's already rolling like it's supposed to. It's no no problems at all. I have it fully on the heat. Okay, three minutes. So, some people like to scoop off that foam. I've seen that in videos. There's no reason. See, it'll go away on its own. I mean, you're essentially just scooping away something that could be beer. So, I just leave it, pay attention. Control the heat. Stir. Alright, so oil is terminated. Stick it into ice water. Sanitized thermometer here. Which I'll just stick in there. Oops. And we want to get this down to 70 degrees. So we're going to let that sit. So this part's going to take you about 10 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes to get that to cool down. But it's already going down pretty quick. It's a pretty small pot. It's a whole lot of ice water. I've already dropped 8 degrees while we've been standing here talking. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this cool in just a minute. And we'll come back and I'll show you putting it into the fermenter. Let's see. I mean, I almost watched this go down. It, it cools up pretty quickly if you use ice water. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff in there. Like I said, I didn't use any, any kind of flocculation aid, but once we get it um, into the fermenter, I have a strainer set up. That's going to catch a, a lot of those hops. And then some of that's just going to settle to the bottom during the fermentation. So don't worry about all so that. Pour it through. 
the empty pot. We got it down to about 75 degrees. And I poured it through the sieve here, the strainer. And it caught a lot. So you don't have to worry about all that, all those hops in there. Uh, if you want less than that, then use a hops bag and, and it'll catch even more. So there's, there's our, our wort. Now we need to add water and we're going to come up to the uh, two gallon mark here that I have. I have a two gallon mark. Just going to add that cold water. And that, that spoon has been sanitized. Now everything that touches this has to be sanitized. Don't put anything in there that hasn't been sanitized properly or you can infect your beer. So I'm going to add some water. And don't worry about the bubbles. We're going to have to add air to this anyway so that the yeast have something to help them on their way. Give it some stirs. Get this up to uh, the two gallon mark. I'm going to stir it really well, but before we pitch the yeast, we're going to add, uh, we're going to remove some of this out, put it into the vial, and test it for uh, gravity right now. So, okay, so all of this is sanitized because we're going to use this. Let me see if I can get that to focus. I don't know if I'm going to get that to focus. Anyway, we're sitting at about 10:55 which is uh, kind of right where I want it to be. This is going to be a high attenuation yeast, so it'll make it, it'll dry it out pretty well. And I think we're going to get in the four and a half percent range, which is uh, just fine by me. You can see there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, it's pretty blurry, sorry. Um, all of this will settle out and we're going to have a nice pale colored uh, Pilsner type of ale, okay? So, here in a moment, I'm going to pitch the yeast right on top of there, give it a little stir, pop the lid on, throw in an airlock, and then boom, so we wait. All of this has been sanitized. Make sure all of this is sanitized. Sanitize the package, sanitize the scissors, the airlock, everything. The lid is sanitized, and notice I set it upright so that the bottom isn't touching anything. Make sure that everything uh, There we go. Good. I didn't want to film all that, but uh, pitch the yeast, put the lid on, nice and tight. Put in the earlock, fill it to the line, slap on the lid, good to go. Now this is going to go into a dark closet um, where it can uh, set away and ferment for about 14 days and then we'll bottle it.